The NASA Spotlight Lessons are developed following the 5E model of learning. If this model is new to you, you will find more information about this constructivist approach to planning and teaching on the NASA Eclipse website. The third E, Explain, is the stage where the learners communicate what they have learned. The NASA Spotlight Lessons use a FRARE model at this stage to help the students organize and analyze the information they have learned about the key vocabulary. A FRARE model is a graphic organizer that prompts students to think about and describe the meaning of a word from four angles. The word's characteristics, examples of the word, non-examples of the word, and then summarize by a definition of the word. Let's take a look at an example of a student's FRARE model for the word stratosphere. As we're looking at this example, we'll use the FRARE model vocabulary rubric to assess the student's conceptual understanding of the word stratosphere. You see that the student has placed the word stratosphere in the center of the FRARE model. We suggest that you guide the student to first list characteristics of this word in the upper right-hand corner of the FRARE model. Some of the words the student listed are ozone, has gases, and altitude increases, temperature increases. Using the rubric, how would you assess the student's list of characteristics? Do you see three or more facts and illustrations that reflect understanding of the word or concept? Do you see a solid understanding of the word based upon this work? Or is a characteristic missing that you think is essential? In our opinion, the student's list of characteristics would earn the student an exemplary assessment for this indicator. Let's consider the student's list of examples next. The drawing lets you see that the student understands that the stratosphere is one layer of the atmosphere. The troposphere is the layer below the stratosphere, closest to Earth, and the mesosphere is above the stratosphere. How does the student's work measure up compared to the rubric? While there aren't actually three or more examples, does the drawing show that the student understands the concept with clarity? We'd say yes. In a similar way, look closely at the student's non-examples. Some of the words the students have listed are troposphere, ionosphere, thermosphere. You'll want to make note for the student that ionosphere isn't spelled correctly. But what do you think about the students listing layers of the atmosphere that are not the stratosphere? Thinking up logical non-examples isn't easy. How do you think the student's work measures up? Does the non-example show the student's understanding of what the concept is not? In our opinion, the student has hit a bullseye with the non-example. This work shows a deeper conceptual understanding of how the stratosphere fits into the layers of the atmosphere with this entry. Finally, guide the student to pull all the, this information together to create their own definition for stratosphere. The student summarizes with this definition the second closest layer of the atmosphere to the surface of the Earth. What do you think? Is this the full meaning of the word or concept? At this point, we think the student has fallen down and included only a portion of the meaning. Do you agree? For us, we assess the definition as satisfactory. Writing the definition as the last piece of the prayer model should push the students to synthesize the other three sections. This level of analysis also increases their level of critical thinking. We urge you to consider allowing students to work together to collaboratively complete the FRARE model. This also helps to deepen their conceptual understanding of the key vocabulary. You will find interactive FRARE models in all versions of our Spotlight lessons. You can also find the rubric of the FRARE model on our website.